Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to check out the Glary GST2 electric guitar. Music in this video is just one take improvised, so it's going to have a cheese factor to it. It's mainly to let you know what the guitar sounds like. All right, hit the guitar products. Got a little catalog here. I guess that's the gig bag. All right, let's see this gig bag. I don't know what you call this shiny thin cloth. It's better than nothing. It's like a tarp with zippers on it. It's got a cable, the trim arm. Here's a strap. Looks like there's a pick in there. Truss rod tool. That's real good to have. As with all Strat style guitars, I have some of those Fender Springs that go in here that get compressed that make the arm tight. I might put one of those in there. Man, this neck is like a baseball bat compared to what I'm playing. So this is a thick neck, dude. Here's the tuners. Neck plate is blank. Everything looks good on the back of the neck. Here's the headstock. Tuners on this side. I think this model has an upgraded nut compared to the other. These look to be like medium frets. Everything looks good on the fingerboard. String alignment. They're a little bit on the treble side. You can feel the frets a little bit, but I wouldn't consider it sharp frets. These are upgraded Wilkinson pickups. The pick guard looks dirty because it's got cellophane on it. Volume tone tone, five way switch. The guitar's not light. Weight of this thing is about seven and a half. Well, I stand corrected. Seven pounds, 3.1 ounces. Let me go through some things I've done after unboxing the guitar. It had fairly high action and I played it a little bit and it sounded good. I snipped the strings off and put Diodario 9 through 42 on it and set the guitar up. The intonation was a little off once I changed strings, but I will say this, the guitar was intonated and it actually sounded better with its factory strings on it. My opinion of this thing with Diodario's is it's thinner and super bright and if you use something like Ernie Ball it's probably going to sound better. I don't have any Ernie Balls to do the demo with so we just have to deal with the high treble sound I guess. <laughs>
One of the first things I noticed is the neck has no finish on it. There might be a thin coat of poly on the back, but definitely on the fingerboard, there is no finish. I believe because of that, after you play this guitar a while, the fretboard's gonna start turning gray, so you're gonna have like an Eddie Van Halen thing going on. I don't know that for sure, but that's probably the case with Unfinished Maple. A lot of Stratocaster style guitars are like a modern C, and this is definitely a wider neck. I haven't looked into the details of who designed these pickups, but they say Wilkinson on them. This is a typical vintage tremolo style setup with the six screws, real similar to a Stratocaster. As you've seen, it comes with the bar and everything if you want to use the tremolo on it. Let's go through some more sounds. Thank you so much for checking the video out. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next video. All right? All right? All right? Oh! Oh! Oh, man. I feel like Mr. John John now, except I didn't bust my teeth out. <laughs>